So, I've recently seen a lot of videos in my description box talking about a certain YouTuber named Together for Peace and how he often expresses his disdain towards mockery and how many of my fellow atheist brothers and sisters often use mockery to expose some of the more ludicrous creationist claims out there. And I wanted to talk about that for a second. So, mockery. Have I used mockery before in my videos? I'd say, yeah, I have on several occasions, but rarely, actually. Um, if you guys have been with me and if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you'll notice that I almost never use mockery in my videos. I always try and explain things in a straightforward way, the way I personally would like to learn things in a just straightforward way. But I will occasionally use mockery in some of my videos. And why I do that is because that is my absolute last ditch effort to try and get someone to understand where they're going wrong. But unfortunately, why this almost never works on the hardcore creationists is because they're just so far into their Jesus juice. It just has sunk in so deeply that they refuse to see anything except what they believe in. And this type of behavior is just not only geared towards religious people, it is sort of universal in some people, regardless of whether they're religious or not. It doesn't even have to be about religion. Some people are just adamant about a certain topic where they feel passionately enough to refuse to see any evidence contrary to what they believe about that certain topic. If I honestly had things my way, I would do every single video without mockery, just a straightforward presentation of facts. But the thing is, creationists don't often like to listen to facts. No matter how well you present them, no matter how credible your sources might be, they just don't want to listen. And that's kind of unavoidable, unfortunately. And even with mockery, some people still won't listen. But at least with mockery, when their beliefs are being made fun of and characterized in a way that the rest of us find, quite frankly, humorous, then, yeah, some people might think, gee, why do people find that humorous? Oh, wait, someone being born from dirt and then a woman coming from a guy's rib? Yeah, that is kind of silly. I can understand it when some Christians and some uh, religious people in general might feel alienated whenever I use mockery or ridicule in my videos. Because, yes, it is a hit and miss thing with some people and they might seem to think that my facts or some of the sources I use to present some of my points across in my video are less credible than they actually are because I use them in the context of mockery. Now, um, I just want you guys to know that I understand um, and it just because I might say something and I might present it in a way that you find discomforting It does not make the validity of my sources any less credible. This is YouTube people This is not necessarily meant to be a friendly place for everyone I'm not going to start any flame wars or troll anyone or do any stupid childish things like that But don't expect me to be nice either. I'm not just going to sit there and play nice and you know, la di da di da, we can all be one big happy family. If your beliefs are ridiculous, I will expose them in my videos as ridiculous. And I'm not going to pull any punches for your sake. If you personally cannot take criticism, if you feel that my style is too harsh for your viewing, then I honestly encourage you not to watch my videos. See, when I use mockery in my videos, I've accepted a sort of responsibility that comes with it because I've accepted that because I have shamed someone's beliefs the way I did, I have to expect people to shame my beliefs for what they are and for them to think that what I believe is completely and absolutely ridiculous. And I expect that. I've received, like, so far one video response where someone told me exactly how he felt my beliefs were ridiculous. And, you know, that's not called trolling, by the way. I don't consider that trolling. That is just intellectual discourse. It might not be nice, it might not be pleasant, but it still is productive in a way. I guess I can finish off with a message to anyone on YouTube, not only my viewers, just anyone on YouTube. Whether you're a viewer 
or a person who makes videos, no matter how old or how new you are. Um, if you honestly can't take criticism and you know yourself better than anyone else, if you can't take criticism, YouTube is definitely not the place for you. Um, YouTube is a free and open forum where we're free to criticize each other in any way we see fit, as long as it's not slanderous or in any way illegal. So if you can't take that kind of criticism, then definitely you shouldn't be on YouTube. But for those of my audience who differ in beliefs than mine, and for those of you who have stuck around and at least have tried to be somewhat civil in my comment section, I definitely appreciate that and I hope you stick around for some of my future videos, whether they include mockery or not. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for sticking around, may the truth always be heard.